I'm Anthony Hudson. Now it's time for Sunday afternoon football. Today, back at the MCG. As to be said, there's plenty of empty seats around. And with me in the box, former Melbourne captain Gary Lyon. Happy to be here today, Hutto. I can't wait for this one to start. For today's match, we have Carlton and Richmond. A big roar as Richmond enter the arena. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. It's a big day for Richmond Ford. If they can get on top of the Carlton defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. Richmond winning the toss. Neither side inside the top eight. They're looking to build some confidence with a win today. Both these teams coming off losses. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. Won the hit out. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Takes that one strongly. Moves the ball by foot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Moved on by Kuno. Manages to get a hand away. Shaw goes to the man on the run. Practicing some fancy moves. Shaw won himself a free. Now with a low spearing kick. Flosco marks in a bit of space. Goes with the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Decides to kick. Caddy kicks it. Gets a quick kick away. Cripps couldn't snaffle it. Under pressure and keeps it alive. He has to hold on to those. Just goes bang. Louis kicks hurriedly. Edward gets in a good position. Chose to kick it. Takes a strong mark. 40 metres out, a 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Castagna hammers it at goal. Richmond, send one home. Pretty happy with that one. He's kicked the first goal. Tap down. He has the ball. The loose ball picked up. Took his eyes off the ball. It's a turnover. Gets it out of congestion. Does well to cut off the kick. Jones uses it by foot. Nice hands. Moved on by Weedery. Gathered by Caddy. Cripps gets the loose ball. Luke handballs. Going for goal number one. Higgins delivers with the goal. Celebrating hard. What a start for Richmond. Tap came from Nan Curvis. Decides to soccer it. Uses the bump. It's cut off by Guidery. Is in his possession. McKay gets on the end of this. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. 
works his chances from here. It just gets the journey, and it's a goal. He puts through his first goal. Couldn't complete the mark. McKay loved kicking that one. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Nan Curvis slaps it away. The loose ball scooped up. Showing some really good pressure there. Martin was taken high in the tackle. Slams it on the boot. Takes a simple grab. Bolton with the opportunity in front of goal. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Bolton loves that goal. 12 points the difference. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Wins the ruck duel, scoops up the ball, lobs the handball, getting in the way was Edwards, puts it into space, ball gets cut off, did well not to confuse himself. McGovern missed an opportunity to mark, Cochin with quick hands, rushes with the kick, nice mark under pressure. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. McIntosh links with a teammate who can run. Missed the target. Bolton dishes it off. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. He goes for broke. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Reva celebrates with the fans. Richmond by three goals. Won it down. Kerno controlled the difficult ball. Pretty lucky to get that free. Nan Curvis puts it on the booth. Rioli marks up contested. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. That one. The lead is now 19. Unsure of their next move. Plays on from the kick-in. Jones gets it away under pressure. Reva will be the recipient of the free. With a driving kick. Soldo looks to get onto the football. Rioli couldn't complete the tackle. Elects to kick it long. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Elects to kick. Plowman presents and takes the mark. Moves it by foot. Doherty gets a quick kick away. Lambert going for number one. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. They increase their lead. He acknowledges the crowd. Richmond have three in a row. Now they lead by 25. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Winning it was Cruiser. Wins possession. Ends up turning this ball over. Quarter time approaching now. Plowman looking to track down the footy. Gives a don't argue. Just dismisses his opponent. Wiedering just took what? The end of the final term sees the scores stand. Richmond 31 to Carlton 6. Richmond could have come out and started well and shown they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Well, we're out of the blocks with a frantic high-scoring opening term. I wonder what lies ahead.
Let's have a closer look at the stats. Carlton are struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. Thanks, Gaz. The second term ready to get underway. Slapped away. Martin did well not to fumble. He gains possession. Martin is streaming past and gets the footy. Lambert hacking it out of there. Keeps it alive. Looks to move it by foot. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Kick goes astray and it's out on the full. Jones tucks it into the pocket. Marks back with an easy mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take the mark. Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. He did really well there and gets the reward. Richmond are on top in the turnovers. They don't allow the opposition easy possessions, and that's why they're on top. Martin takes it well. Handball's out in front. Quickly onto the boot. Going for goal number two. Congratulated by his teammates. That's five in a row for Richmond. The margin is 37. One down. Try to avoid everything out there. Gets a hand to the ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Flostone takes a strong mark. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The umpire will ball it up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. The ball spills to Castagna. No issues with that drop punt. Three goals so far. Great start. They stretch their lead with that effort. He's excited about that one. Guides it down. Collects the loose ball. They can link up now. Walsh puts it to his advantage. Intercepted by Rioli. The mark has been taken. 40 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Looking to kick goal number two. That kick was pure. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This kick stretches the lead. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. That's seven in a row for the Tigers. 49 points the difference. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Ned Curvis won it down. Sweeping handball from Prestia. Bolton kicks it. Edwards found some space and marked. 45 metres out. He takes the shot. Drop punt straight through the middle. And that puts them further in front. His teammates rush over. That's eight in a row for Richmond. The lead is now 55. Taps it down. He's got the footy in his hands. Marks now and can send it back. Drives it long. Ball picked up. The handball hits the target. Receives the handball and takes off. Marking in space for Fisher. 45 metres out. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. He heads for home. 
He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Gets his first. That's a really good team goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Richmond have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. A big contested grab. Revolt will have to put everything into this one. Puts it on the boot. Betts dug out the loose ball. Releases by hand. Lamb on the ground. Gaz, can you give us more on that? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. Takes the mark. Murphy with a chance if he can keep his cool. He decides to go for home. He sums up the situation and delivers. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. That's two in a row for Carlton. Starting to work their way back. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. He just knew they were going to score. Richmond are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Higgins takes it well. He drives it. Collected by Crestia. This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. He can take off after that handball. Murphy just threw it. A chance here to convert for Gretzman. Cochin right on the edge of his range. Go for goal number one. Sends it home. Look at them celebrate that effort. The margin is 49. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Swatson, Cochin gathers it now, sees off the tackler, gets the handball away, has it now, dishes it off to a player on the run. Marchbank, read it best. <laughs> Won the hit out, the ball in the hands of McIntosh. Jones did well to win that ball. Richmond just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Sinks the slipper into it, taking a nice grab. The kick from Walsh. An easy grab for Cruiser. Richmond haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that far. Goes by foot. Hands that ball to the opposition. He lays off the pass. Simply outplayed his opponent. Castagna elects to kick. He gives chase to the footy. Well picked up. Just gave it away. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. Of course, Hunter. This kick puts them further into the lead. Edwards celebrating hard. Richmond have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 55. Cruiser. Carlton trailing by 55. At the break. Richmond have controlled the play well and deserved this lead at halftime. Let's check out the stats. Richmond leading the contested ball numbers. It's always... Players back on the field to begin the second half. Richmond needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment. They're getting beaten in the contest and it's affecting the scoreboard. Cripps had it, lost it. Rance takes the mark. Tries to gain some territory. Shaw determined to reach the ball. A must-kick goal here. News slots the goal. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. He acknowledges the crowd. 
Carlton trying to work their way back on the scoreboard. Cruiser guides it down. Ball stripped in the tackle. Kerno rushes with the kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Fisher will kick from beyond the 50. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. He's enjoying that goal. It's still an uphill battle. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Richmond are taking their time and kicking to smart options inside 50, and that's having a real bearing on this match. Wiedering getting in on the act. Finds his man. Cripps slams it onto the boot. Rance will be upset with that. McKay has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Carlton close the gap to 42. Flostone assessing the options. Shaw got under it. Uses it now. Open opportunity for Rance. Marchbank couldn't snaffle it. Finds the loose ball. Mark unfortunately lets them down there. Richmond beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 74 to 31. Jones drives the kick. Good mark by Glauman. Works it across the ground. Marchbank gets on the end of this. Uses it by foot. Marks all alone. Kerno goes with the kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Keeps it moving. Kick by Marchbank. Mops up the loose ball. Gets a handball away. Rance releases by hand. Gets a quick kick away. Put his body on the line. He's got the football now. Spent that one before he earned it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. The umpire calls for a stoppage. There's not too much going on out there at the moment. Wins the ruck duel. Nate Curvis collected the ball well. Penetrating handball. Just put it on the boot. Fighting the loose ball was Soldo. Movement by hand. Bolton with a chance for a third goal today. Pretty happy with that one. The Tigers doing well at the moment. Guides it down. Cripps with the ball. Brings it out of the pack. Coughed up by Timpson. Thank you. Thumps it clear. Tough one to handle for Cripps. Bolton on top of the ranking points. The opposition need to get a hold of him. Picked up now. Has a runner alongside him. Kicks hurriedly. Easily takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. McIntosh charges with intent. Slick with the hands. Kerno wins it back. Turned it over. Just gave it away. He just throws that ball. Prestiak moves it now. Marks in a bit of space. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Kennedy just put it on the boot. Dug out by Petrovsky Seaton. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Through for a minus ball. Carlton behind by 48. Flostone playing up the options now. Got boot to ball. Finds himself in space and marks. Decides to kick. Does well to keep it in play.
Kept alive under pressure. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. Lynch runs onto the field. Umpire calls for a throw-in. Another goal here in this game could be well and truly over. Lost concentration for a moment. Cripps powers through the tackle. Ball gets cut off. Cripps a bit too casual with the tackle. Nice work from Lynch. Got boot to ball. Picks up the loose ball. Gathers it now. Doherty struggling to run at the moment. The mark is taken by Fisher. Richmond haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. The ball ends up going to ground. Good mark there. Short uses the back foot. Searching for a teammate. Flostone decides to go to himself. Chose to kick it. McIntosh leaps over the top. Spears the ball. Ball off hands. Gets it away. With the ball now. Here the post it goes. Simply unable to take that opportunity. Carlton produced the margin. Richmond have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Uses it now. A strong pack mark. Puts boot to ball. Finds this. Richmond in front by 46 at the end of the third quarter. Richmond will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Both sides finding plenty of scoring opportunities that term. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Richmond have been terrific at finding space to move the ball. Their ability to find a player in space is first class and it sees them in charge. Much appreciated, Gaz. Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Guided down nicely by Cruiser. A chance to reload the attack now. Hooley kicks it. Then Curvis takes the mark. The ball mopped up. Caddy hunting with authority. Great tackle. Picking it up was Martin. Doherty dropped what he should have taken. Going for goal number one. Probably should have done better with that kick. Now they lead by 47. Looking to bring it back into play. Fights the good fight. Just gets a hand in. Plowman picks up the loose ball. Caddy can't hold on to the tackle. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Doherty goes with the kick. Finds a target. He flicks it over. Takes possession. Finds a bit of room to mark. Well, gives it off. And now they go. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Kerno choosing to play on. Racking up possessions now. Cruiser with a big chance to convert here. He celebrates hard after that. Time enough to get back into this one. One down. Cochin dug out the loose ball. He has the ball. Slams it onto the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. The Tigers just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Looks to move it by foot. Martin making his way onto the field. We'll get a ball up. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Soldo couldn't complete the tackle. He's in his possession, finding the ball with ease. O'Brien marks uncontested. Carlton would love to make the most of this opportunity. 
40 meters from home. Going for goal number one. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. No doubt about it. They get a desperately needed goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Tap down. They can create from this. Cruiser turns a free kick. Goes with the kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Martin drives a low kick. Missed the target. Just handballs into space. Pushes through with power. Betts must kick this goal. McGovern goes off the deck and nails the goal. His teammates rush over. That's three in a row for Carlton. Carlton now only trailed by 29. Cruiser thumps it clear. Hacking it out of there. Haven't called his name too often. Petreski Seaton slick with the hands. Martin, is this the moment? Celebrating hard. Carlton behind by 23. Punches are clear. This is Petreski Seaton. Broad couldn't hang on to the ball. Giving it off was McGovern. Can he put it through? Bent. Getting the crowd involved. That's five in a row for Carlton. The Blues close the gap to 17. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. away. Caddy moves it now. Oh, some physicality. Intercepted. Got the hands free. Rebound gets on the end of that handball. He delivers with the drop pass. They get around him after that effort. 23 points the difference. Cruiser with a big fist on it. Jockety with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. The tackle deserves a free and gets it. Great tackling there, Hutto. Edwards is the body to take that mark. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ball tossed back in. He gives it a run. Miss for a behind. Richmond up by four goals. Teammates break for him. Jones plays on. He drives it. Weedering, the better man there. Puts it on the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Bolton has resources out wide. Edwards collects the loose ball. Continues to find the footy. He loved that one. Richmond Clee is now 30. That's a really good team goal. This is how they can score big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Won it down. Wins the race to the ball. Hulik spills it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. A great mark taken there. Moves the ball by foot. Off hands from Fisher. Wiedering spins past the tackler. Just gets the hands free. McGovern keeps coming. Garthway just too high with the tackle.
the fans hoping this one goes through to give them a glimmer of hope. A time to celebrate, and don't they get around Martin? Carlton produced the margin. Thrashes it. Cruiser collects it. Hurried kick. Strong mark in the contest. Going for distance with the kick. The contest, no match for him. Yes, I know. Short sends one up towards the wing. Good body work to win the mark. Murphy runs after the ball. Finds the loose ball. With a driving kick. Just gets a boot to it. Finally picked up. Carlton now only trailed by 23. Foster searching for a teammate. Intercepts the ball well. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. He's put that one through. He's excited about that one. Richmond get the job done today. Gary, what really stood out for you today? There are things both sides can take out of this game, but ultimately there's only one group of supporters that go home happy. And thank you very much, Gaz. We're behind but never mind. We're fighting, fighting, win for we're from Tigerland. We never weaken till the final siren's gone. Like the final scores at 94 to 77. That's it for us. We'll see you again next time. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.